So in the previous videos, we have discussed about the introduction to coordinate systems and the relation between the coordinates. Here, we will discuss about the differential elements in coordinate system. In our uh, electromagnetic theory study, where we often used line integral, surface integral, volume integral to evaluate these three integrals, we require differential elements. So, we have to know the differential elements in three coordinates. Here, differential element refers at extremely small change in the quantity. Differential element representing the extremely small change in quantity. For example, if our quantity is the length, in that we consider extremely small change in length, that is considered as a differential length, where length is the quantity we consider. Right? Similarly, if I consider the area of the surface, area of the surface, in the extremely small change in surface area is considered as a differential surface, where surface area considered as a quantity here, if the area considered as a quantity, extremely small change in area or surface considered as a differential surface. Similarly, volume, if I consider the complete volume, small change in the volume denoted as a differential volume, right? So, this is the definition of a differential element. Differential element means extremely small change in quantity. Generally, difference or change in the quantity represented as delta x. If x is the quantity, if any change presenting in the quantity denoting the delta x, if the change tends to 0, why tends to 0? Extremely small change, negligible change. That's why the delta x tends to 0, the term denoted as dx, small dx. That's why the term also called as a differential element, right? So, this is the definition of a differential element. We are having how many coordinates? Three coordinates. What are the three coordinates? Cartesian, cylindrical and spherical coordinates. In this, first we consider the Cartesian coordinate system. In a Cartesian coordinate system, how many coordinates are used to define the point? Three coordinates. What are the three coordinates? One is the x, another one is the y, next z. How many unit vectors are considered? Ax cap, Ay cap, Az cap to representing the direction of vector moving in x direction, y direction, z direction respectively. Right? Three unit vectors were considered. Ax, Ay, Az cap. In this, in this coordinates, any object is modeled as a rectangle. Any object is modeled as a rectangle. So here consider small object. This object consists of how many points? Eight points are present. Distinguishable points are eight corners we are having. What are the eight points? A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, S. Total eight points we are having. How many lines we are having? If I count the number of lines presenting in the rectangle, Total 12 lines we are having. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Total 12 lines we are having. How many surfaces are there? 6 surfaces are present. What are the 6 surfaces? Front surface, back surface. Front surface, back surface. Right surface, left surface. Top surface, 
bottom surface have a visualization of a rectangle box how the rectangle box is present like this right so total how many surfaces we are having six surfaces we are having the volume is nothing but enclosed of surface right so in this only one volume enclosed of surface is nothing but a volume total eight corners 12 lines six surfaces right only one volume so in this how can you define the differential length differential length is the one quantity total how many lengths we are having 12 lengths 12 lines we are having which quantity we can consider to measure the line that is the length of the line only if you are having the line then what is the quantity we are using length is the quantity we are using to measure the line then how many surfaces we are having six surfaces what is the quantity we are using to measure the surface that is the area right the next one is the volume so three quantities were used. What are the three quantities? What is the length of the line, area of the surface, volume of the object? Three quantities are used. How many differential quantities? How many differential elements are taken place when we are having the length? Extremely small change in the length. That is the differential length. If you are having the area, extremely small change in the area. That is the differential surface or differential area. The next one is the volume so extremely small change in the volume that is the differential one so total how many differential elements are presenting in any object three differential elements we are having one is the differential length differential surface and a differential volume now consider the differential length right so to discuss about the differential length once consider which lines are presenting in x direction which lines are presenting in y direction which lines are presenting in z direction so just to have a look on this, which lines are presenting on x-axis? This is the x-axis. This is the direction of x, y, z. So which lines are aligning or following x direction? This line, this line, this line, this line. Total how many lines are following the x direction? Line AP, BQ. C or P X. These lines are following the X direction. Which lines are following the Y direction? This is the Y direction. Which lines are aligning in Y axis? C D presenting in Y. A D P Q R S. These four lines are presenting in Y direction. Which lines are presenting in Z direction? Z means vertical lines. How many vertical lines we are having? This line that is AC, DB, PR, QS. Total four lines. Four lines presenting in X, four lines presenting in Y, four lines presenting in Z direction. Any one of the line you can consider which follow in the X direction. How can you define the length in that line? Right? If this is the line, which element you have to consider? x representing the distance covered in x direction if x is the quantity to denoting the length right which element is considered as a differential element in the dx change in x this is the dx similarly any line you can consider which following the y direction in y direction y considered as a variable to denoting the distance or length in y direction so what is the differential length in the direction y taken as a quantity so therefore what is the differential quantity dy so similarly dj so total how many differential lengths are present separately one following the x direction that is the dx one following the y dy another one following the z that is the dj these are the individual differential lengths right in that object if you have joined the line from C to Q in that object, just if I draw the line, right? So, how can you represent the differential length to that line? So, which line we are considering? C to Q, that is the travel, 
right? So in the travel, how can you reach the queue from C? Different options we are having. What is our option? C to A, A to P, P to Q. Or we can go for like this, C to A, A to B, B to Q. Like that multiple options we have. We can choose any one of the option. So total how many travels are present? One travel, C to A. One travel in which direction? Z direction. Another travel, which direction? X direction. Another travel. Y direction total three directions you have to follow to reach the queue from point C. One element is dj, another element is dx, another element is dy. This is presenting in which direction? Y direction. This is the dy. So, therefore, how can you representing the differential length or length which joins C and Q? How can you representing the differential length? The differential length equal to dx ax cap dy ay cap dz ay cap you must clear in this notation dx representing the differential change in x following x direction differential change in y with respect to y direction change in z with respect to z direction so this is about differential length in Cartesian coordinate system. Then differential surface. Total how many surfaces we are having? Six surfaces. Front, back, right, left, top, bottom. Now consider front and back. How the alignment of the front surface and back surface? How can you find the area of this surface? How can you find the area of this surface? Product of the two lengths. What are the two lengths are presented here? One length presenting in y direction, one length is presenting in z direction. This is the differential y, this is the differential z. So, how can you get the area of the surface product of these two? What is the product dy dj? This area can move in which direction, right? If this object is considered as a one point, from the point, how the unit vectors are present? Total how many unit vectors are presenting in this Cartesian coordinate? Three unit vectors are present. What are the three unit vectors? One vector following the x direction, one vector following the z direction, one vector following the y direction. Take this as a one point. From the point, have a visualization, three vectors are emitting. One vector following the z, one vector following the y, one vector following the x direction. So from the point of view, which surface can able to move in x direction? Which surface in a rectangle? This surface can move in x direction. Surface having the area, right? So that area can move in x direction. So that is denoted as a differential surface in a x direction that equal to dy dj along with x direction. Similarly, if you require differential surface which is moving in y direction, which surfaces can move in y direction? Consider left, right these can move in y direction then we require the area of such a surfaces left and right these surfaces can move in a y direction right so how can you find the area of that you can take this surface or you can take this surface this surface or this surface we can find. how can you get the area product of two sides this side multiplied by this side this surface will equal left surface this surface so for that how can you find the area of this surface one is the dz and the one is the dx that surface can move in which direction this surface can move in which direction every direction therefore what is the differential surface in y direction that is the dx multiplied by dz that gives the area of this surface that area can move in y direction to cover the complete object similarly Differential surface in z direction. Which surfaces can move in z direction? Top surface or bottom surface? These two surfaces can move in z direction, right? What is the area of this surface? This surface is presenting on which plane? X, Y plane. This surface is presenting on X, Y plane. A, B, B, Q, Q, P, and P, A. This is the surface. This segment is nothing but? dy this is presenting in y direction dy 
then this is presenting in a which direction x then this is the dx this is the dy product of these two is the area of that surface that area can move in which direction z direction to cover the complete object so therefore differential surface in z direction equal to dx dy d sorry dx dy along with z direction the next differential volume how can you find the differential volume product of enclosed of the surfaces enclosing of surfaces is nothing but a one total how many volumes oh sorry how many sides you have to consider one side along with x one side along with y another side along with z direction we are having the three dimensions dx dy dz product of these three gives the volume of a object so differential volume x into y into z is nothing but x is the height or oh, sorry x is the width z is the height y consider as a bed product of these three is nothing but a volume right differential we are consider differential volume we are consider so therefore dx dy dz right so this is about the differential volume so this knowledge is essential to evaluate line integral surface integral volume integral in electromagnetic theory so we require this one.